Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome everybody. Chris back with yet another fragrance review and this time it's an all-time great released by the precious house fashion giants Chanel in the year of 1990. What a great year that was, uh, both in perfumery and otherwise as well. 1990 and the name is Egoist. Egoist, what a catchy name that one is. And I can tell you, the fragrance lives totally up to the name. First of all, 1990, right? Wow, uh, Chanel in 1990. The whole fragrance industry in 1990 was, uh, was turning, was changing. Um, they, they started to break away from the heavy hitters of the 70s and the 80s. Uh, what do I mean? Uh, you know, in, in the late 80s, fragrances came out that were kind of breaking away from the stereotypes of the, of the heavy, leathery, mossy, piney stuff that was going on in the 70s and 80s. And, and fragrances like uh, Fahrenheit appeared, totally new idea, or cool water. Or later, uh, the Boss Spirit, for example. Um, and uh, Kevin Klein Eternity already from 1990. And as we went into the 90s, uh, it started to get more and more interesting. Great releases were coming out, like one of my favorite ever fragrances, Lagerfeld Photo. Uh, Adidas, amazingly. Adidas Active Bodies, fantastic fragrance. Uh, or the recently reviewed uh, 1881 Pourhomme by Nino Cerruti. Or Balen Balenciaga Pourhomme. Um, or Trussardi Action. So what a year, that's only 1990, okay? So you imagine you walk into a fragrance store in 1990 and you have all these beauties sitting in there, just new re-released. And then all the rest was coming in the 90s, great decade for the fragrance industry, great, great, um, very creative approaches to fragrances. And actually, Egoist, um, ever since then, in the past 30 years, stands and stood, uh, stands and stood its ground uh, uh, in, the, in the great flow of time and still stands there on the, on, the, on the top shelves and the top selling shelves and top price shelves in the perfume stores, okay? That's one thing with Chanel that they will never lower their, their quality and uh, accordingly their pricing level. Obviously, maybe at this, today if you walk in, maybe Blue de Chanel is on top of Egoist. Wow, who cares, you know? That's, that's the way it is today, but that's a different story. Um, so how does it smell like? How does it smell like? What makes Egoist so special? Well, created by the parfumeur Jacques, Monsieur Jacques Polge. Um, it smells warm, it smells inviting, it smells very, very energetic. It smells very special. It smells like nothing you've ever smelled before. Although there are some, some notes that you can pick up. You can pick up cinnamon, you can pick up vanilla, you can pick up sandalwood, rosewood, you can probably pick up um, um, carnation. You could definitely pick up rose. And it's a very special rose here. Wow, it's a fantastic rose. Uh, it's a classy smelling fragrance, yet it smells modern and timeless. Um, it's a definite signature material here. Absolutely versatile, you know, around the clock, basically, almost every time of the year, every season, most probably um, the summer, the heat of the summer does not help this fragrance because this is this is a bit thick and warm for for maybe summer evening it's okay, but during the heat, I'm not necessarily a fan of this. I use this, I like this in the spring, and uh, I'm fairly emotionally attached to this fragrance. I will tell you why, um, but I like. Um, the, the immense personality of the fragrance. And and I, I told you the notes, notes, right? So you know about vaguely the notes, but I want to tell you about how this fragrance makes me feel when I wear it. This reminds me totally of a, a new era is breaking, a new day is approaching in the morning, you know, the morning hour, brightness, positiveness, the energy that you have in the morning. I love mornings because they, they, hold the prom they hold the promise of a new day, of new challenges, new fun things, new things to see, to learn, to do. Um, I love mornings, and to me this is an absolute morning fragrance. It's, it's invigorating and 
but not in a citrusy way. It has some citrus actually. It has some mandarin freshness in there, but it's it's not dominant at all. It it rather invigorates you with its with its tremendous amount of energy that comes across when you wear this. The calm comfort, the luxurious comfort that you get from this fragrance is, in my opinion, unparalleled. Um, maybe Lapidus Porom. Um, has some of that, but Lapidus Porum has this animalic part, uh, which in the morning can kind of hit you too hard. This doesn't have that. This is more, um, how should I say, uh, more customer friendly probably, but that was, a, Lapidus was 87, this is 90, so it was, it was, you know, the fragrance interest was going out, coming out from, as I mentioned, coming out from the heavy, it was going into the more kind of, more um, adventurous and and um, a creative and and uh, avant-garde type of smells, which this is like you know it's it's heavy yet it's playful, it's bright yet it's 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 um, it has a presence that that is not uh, it's humorous but not funny if you know what I mean. You don't laugh at the egoist but you appreciate its humor, okay? The humor that's, that the egoist is spreading. It's almost like a human being here I'm talking about, okay? So he's a very humorous guy, but you're not laughing at him. He's not, he's funny, but he's nothing, he's not a laughing stock. He's not a laughing matter, right? He, he's funny and he's, he's a well, well-read, um, well-articulated, well-spoken um, person who speaks probably many languages and seen many places and traveled around um, and this all all the experience in his lifetime builds into his personality right and that's why this fragrance is i think it's definitely 30 30 and above i wore this when i was 28 in the year 2000 um, in the spring i liked it but I couldn't wear it i wasn't ready for it yet um, and and why does it remind me of a morning it's a personal thing um, as I say, it's very versatile. You can wear it any time around the year. But to me, it's a morning fragrance because uh, this fragrance used to be worn by a... Um, I used to work with a Swiss man uh, back in the mid-90s, uh, mid and later part, later part of the 90s, called Mr. Kunz, or the Herr Kunz. He's, he was from Switzerland, very well-dressed, very well-spoken, very intelligent, very straightforward, uh, great businessman. We were running a, a factory in the countryside. And every time we met, uh, I met, I went to his house and he, he was already in the car or he was just, he was just opened the door and I could, I could smell this, this fragrance radiating from him, okay? And it was always in the mornings when we met, um, especially around that time in 96, it was around springtime um, when this started and this, this fragrance, radiating the vibration, the vibe, the mood that I got from this fragrance through Herr Kunz, through this guy, this person, my boss at the time actually, um, made such a huge impact on me that, that paired up with, with the sensation of a bright, energetic morning, it, it totally, uh, you know, got planted in my brain. And whenever I smell this, um, Applying it in the morning, I feel like I could, I could, I could just tore out trees by their roots. Really, I, I feel totally um, optimistic, energized, uh, very self-assured. It's a dress-up fragrance, okay? So you kind of get your gear going with it, okay? Not too much, because it's a very uh, French fragrance. It's very uh, intelligently made. It, it, don't push it, you know, don't over apply and don't overdress it. Just let it work for itself. You know, the egoist is, is it just knows the style. It's a very stylish person, the ego, egoist, okay? And uh, last but not least, um, today is the 6th of February, which marks the 22nd anniversary of the passing of the Austrian pop star Falco, Hans Hölzel. Hansi, grüß dich. Um, and he wore this fragrance. So this is kind of my tribute to Hans Hölzel, um, to the late great Hans Hölzel by reviewing his favorite fragrance, Egoist, of which he took uh, the name and made it into a song title, believe it or not. So that's my little uh, tribute, Egoist, to Hans Falco, 
And um, also to the late great uh, Herbert Kunz, who was my boss, who the guy I was talking about who wore this, who kind of made me appreciate it, uh, although not intentionally, but I really got to, you know, this got hammered into my brain, into my heart, into my everything. So when I wear this, along actually with Lagerfeld photo, it's one of those fragrances that really makes me move um, my emotions physically. It's, it's very, very special. That's what I wanted to say. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks very much. That was Chris with the fragrance review of Egoist by the Great House of Chanel, by the Great Parfumeur of Jacques Paul from the year of 1990. And uh, how was that Falco song going? Egoist. Die ganze Welt dreht sich um mich, denn ich bin nur ein Egoist. Der Mensch, der mir am nächsten ist, bin ich, ich bin ein Egoist, ein Egoist.